Baby girl, show me your vibe. Baby girl, show me your light. We need a little bit of your time. Hey guys, it's Brie, and today I want to talk about my experience with co-washing my hair every day. So, um, first of all, what is co-washing? For those of you that don't know, co-washing is basically just um, washing your hair every day with conditioner. So, um, you find a co-wash product. It doesn't have to be necessarily a co-wash but a conditioner that's moisturizing and you just put that in your hair and you do it um, and you do it as if you're washing your hair. So I decided this year to try co-washing my hair every day. And so what kind of inspired me to do this was just watching other um, wash and go videos and other videos about co-washing and the benefits of it. I have tried wash and goes before, but they never really came out fully the way I wanted them to most of the time. And um, I just wanted um, to be able to do them like consistently, but I wasn't able to have a wash and go last more than a day. And I thought there was something wrong with my hair because I saw other people with my hair type like having wash and goes last like a few days and mine just didn't really do that so um, I read about like um, daily co-washing and just like um, doing wash and goes daily um, for like my hair type and it was something that I was really interested in trying to do for myself I wanted to see if I could actually become a wash and go person because normally I'll do wash and goes once in a blue moon um, it wasn't something I did all the time, but I wanted to see if I could be able to do it um, because I was watching other videos that said like your hair just has to adjust to it and I felt like my hair didn't really wasn't really used to wearing wash and goes. So I was like I want to see what happens if my hair can adjust like what my hair would look like. Um, also, I just wanted to have more moisture in my hair um, because the wash and goes I did before, they came out okay, but I, I knew that like if my hair had more moisture, it would come out even better. And generally, I also just wanted to embrace my natural hair more. I wanted to feel like I could manage it and have more um, control over it. And I also just wanted to see like more definition in my hair and I wanted to see what like my curl pattern really looks like. Um, and most of the time, I wasn't able to see it fully. So yeah, I basically co-wash my hair every day. At first, it was every other day, and then I decided I want to try to do this every day. So I basically did this for consistently for about a month and a half. It was around um, from January to like the middle of February. I was doing it literally like every single day. And so I just want to talk about like the process of what I did. So basically, um, I would get in the shower and I'd split my hair in four sections. And I used um, Shea Moisture's Coconut and Hibiscus Co-Wash. And I would just run that through my hair, get all of the excess product out, and then rinse it out. And when I rinse out the co-wash, I like massage my scalp as if I'm shampooing my hair. And that, I don't, I don't know why I did that. I guess I just wanted more of like scalp stimulation, but also just to like have my hair kind of clean. Um, but I did that when I co-washed, when I was rinsing it out. Um, and then I would run the leave-in conditioner through. Um, this is the leave-in conditioner that I used. It's the Shea Moisture Leave-In or Rinse Out Conditioner. And I love this stuff. Like it made, the first time I used it, it made my hair feel so, so soft. You run it through your hair and it just feels like butter and that's when you know you put enough in. Um, so I would do that after I did the shampoo. Um, sometimes I um, would, um, get out the shower and put this in afterwards but most of the time I put this in while I was in the shower and I did not rinse it out I always leave it in so um, once I leave it in and I'm done with my co-wash whatever I will um, still have my hair in the four sections I'll have it in four twists and so I'll go one at a time for one section I'll put in um, sometimes I put in more leave-in conditioner and then I'll add um, a cream that I use. It's, um, well actually, 
within this line they have a curl stretch pudding so sometimes i would use that otherwise i would use a um it's like a chebe cream i can wink it or something but i'll use that sometimes also with uh with oil i'll follow up with oil i'll either use an ayurvedic oil mixture or a um or just like regular jamaican black castor oil and then i'll follow that up with a gel if i'm using a gel then I'll follow it up with that. If I'm using Miss Jessie's, I'll do like the multicultural curls and then the pillow soft curls. So that's like cream gel. Once I put the product through my hair, the leave-in, the cream, the oil, or the gel, um, the cream or the gel, I'll let it air dry. And also I don't use um, a Denman brush or anything like that. I just use my fingers. In my process of doing this, I would like leave it to dry for like two hours and then i'll like take it and pull it and stretch and just run the blow dryer through just to reduce the shrinkage but after a while i just didn't feel like stretching it and i'll just diffuse it or air dry it the way it was um so yeah um yeah so the products i used some of them i liked better than others i get more definition from gels but I get a lot more of a soft, um, soft hair, or it looks more like natural from the, from the creams. I do like the creams a lot, but I have sections of my hair that are really like tight and like um, coily, and usually the creams can't define those sections. It'll just look kind of different with like these frizzy um, parts not defined with everything else defined. So that's why I kind of prefer gels for my hair. Um, to get all those parts to find. I'm still trying to experiment with different creams, but the creams I, I used were basically from Talia Wajid. I used the Curly Co cream and I also used the apple and aloe line um, of that curl defining cream as well. I um, stopped using certain brands because I didn't like how my hair felt uh, when I would wash my hair out from them um, and also um, some of the products would just like be, I would be sensitive to them and they would make my eyes burn or like, yeah, something like that. So I wanted to try to find like not more as much natural ingredients as possible in these, in these products. Um, so yeah, so that's why I would mention CWG, a lot of the ingredients in those creams are pretty natural. In terms of gels, I tried Miss Jessie's, um, I tried Aunt Jackie's and I feel like Aunt Jackie's gave me the best definition um, out of all of them but um, Miss Jessie's was like the most like lightweight and um, I loved that too and I also um, been using the as I am curling jelly which has also been doing really really well with definition so just in my time of like doing curl washing and washing goes this is just the little um, kind of arsenal that I've had um, but I would be open to trying more products um, but this is just what I've tried so far um, so basically from doing the daily co-washing um, it did take time for my hair to adjust but I feel like my hair adjusted pretty quickly um, and it was a lot easier to detangle and I had a lot less breakage because I would go from a wash and goes to like, once I finished doing it daily, um, I went into twists and I got so much breakage the time I tried doing those twists because I just had less breakage like doing the wash and goes versus twists. I think from parting my hair and all of that, like it, it was, it was, I, ver I got like very little breakage, like from the shower, like you'll probably see like 10 hairs or less that come out from co-washing my hair also it's pretty quick to do like i'll be in and out the shower in like half an hour and then it's just the afterwards process so um it doesn't take super super long it's just really um getting the time of your hair drying and i'll usually wear it out through the day um if not i'll just wear it in a high bun um and at night i would um like put it in satin scrunchies and just sleep in it on a satin pillowcase most of the time. Single strand knots, I didn't get that many. Like I was looking at my hair recently and I noticed like two, 
but overall i don't get that many and i think that's because i'm literally going through it every day i'm detangling it every day i don't think single strand knots are like really a huge issue for me i was afraid of that before because when i did wash and goes before that was a huge issue for me and that's why i was like i'm not a wash and go person because i just i didn't want to have any more single strand knots but i really haven't noticed like it's too many um, I personally know that I do need a haircut. So I know that I have a lot of split ends even now. So yeah, um, I think that it's important to like have your hair, your ends healthy because it affects the shape of the wash and go. So um, if you want a good shape, like it's important to have like the right, um, the right cut and like having your ends healthy and everything. And that'll also help to prevent single strand off. It also just became like pretty soothing. It was just like a self care kind of like regimen it kind of became like i would look forward to going to to co-wash my hair and it's just really soothing and it just feels like you're taking care of yourself and i feel like i grew more of a love for my hair and i got so many more compliments like in the time that i was daily co-washing on my hair than i have like any other time in my life i don't know if it's because i'm in a like new place where people haven't seen my hair before but like i would get so many compliments on my hair and I just felt more confident in my hair and I started to like embrace my hair more and I would just notice like the different curl patterns in my hair and I would just be like wow this is actually like so beautiful and so I feel like I've kind of grown to love my hair more um, through the daily co-washing. Another really great thing about it is it's the first time in like a long time that I've seen like noticeable growth in my hair because um, I haven't seen like noticeable growth in the hair in like a good while. But after doing the co-washing, I stretched it to the point where like, I was like, this is actually longer than it was before. And it hasn't been like that in like so long. So I definitely think that just the daily moisture and stimulation of my hair really helped in like stimulating growth in my hair. So I think that it's definitely something that you might wanna try if you're interested in growing your hair or just wanting more definition in your hair or wanting to just embrace your hair more. The one thing I would say though, um, I'll definitely do this again and I actually plan to, but um, the one thing I'm gonna say, like your hair does get used to it. Your hair does adjust to, um, your hair does adjust to being in that state and that style. But I think for me, like my hair eventually let me know like, all right, this is a little too much and we need a break <laughs> from being like um dealt with so much so basically my hair would kind of let me know like all right it's time it's time for a break like it'll kind of show you like this is a little too much ma manipulation right now and you need to just like take some time off to just let your hair rest so that's what i did after i did the month and a half of daily co-washing i left my hair in twist for a little while um and you can do whatever you want like in your time of not having it out but i think having a good week of like not wearing it and co in um and the wash and go it's just nice to like give your hair some time to like kind of breathe and like just not have to touch it every single day so yeah definitely like try to uh, listen to your hair like your hair will let you know what it wants and what it needs co-washing daily was something that led to more growth for me and more love for my hair and I definitely want to keep doing it because I just want to like see more growth in my hair and more um, definition in my hair more health for my hair um, but if you are doing the, the daily co-washing make sure that you're still shampooing your hair I was shampooing once a week so yeah because even though you're getting rid of like the product every day like you still have to kind of do a clean sweep of your hair to like make sure it's clean um and yeah you don't want to have like all the buildup sitting on your scalp which i still even now struggle with buildup so i'm trying to like solve that for myself and you might be like isn't that a lot of product to be putting on your hair like every day like um it is but at the same time you kind of have to think of it as like as if your skin is almost like your hair because it's a lot to put lotion on your legs every day but you don't think it's like too much you know because it's like your your legs need it it's like the same way for your hair especially with type 4 hair because type 4 hair requires like more moisture than any other hair type 
so like someone else with a different hair type can wear their hair in a style for multiple days without having any issues but it's different for type 4 hair like for type 4 hair needs a lot more care and a lot more attention um, not saying that any other hair type doesn't need care and attention but it's just um, type 4 hair is very unique and I realized like my hair just can't last more than a day in a wash and go because it just needs daily moisture and that's not a problem that's just what my hair needs and I just have to give my hair what it needs um, so maybe you felt like you're not a wash and go person um, you probably might be maybe you are but you just have to like figure out what your hair needs and your hair might need more moisture than you realize because that's that was the case for me um, also if you're doing this you want to kind of have a like protein balance so I would do protein treatments every so often because you know you're putting your hands through your hair a lot it is less breakage than um, and then a lot of other things but I feel like your hair still needs the protein nonetheless just to keep it strong and healthy um, so if you can find a good um, product for your hair where you can get a little bit of the strength built back into your hair then that is great if you guys have any questions um, you can let me know in the comments um, and I do plan to do like a wash and go routine at some point so if you guys want to see that just like give this a thumbs up or let me know in the comments like that you want to see that and I'll do that um, or if you have any other like hair videos you want me to do or any other videos in general just let me know in the comments um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video